Now we will discuss about the next topic that is corpuscles. Blood contains a plasma. Already we have discussed. Next we will discuss about the blood corpuscles present in the blood. Blood corpuscles composed of Blood corpuscles are nothing but they are the cells present in the blood. One is RBC, other one is WBC and platelets. The term RBC is red blood cells, WBC white blood cells and platelets are the three cells present in the blood. RBC are also called as erythrocytes. WBCs are also known as leukocytes. And platelets are also called as thrombocytes. Now, let's discuss about each of these cells in detail. First, we'll start with RBC cells. The term RBC, as it is in the name only itself, is there, it is red in color. So, it is called as red blood cells. The term erythro is nothing but red. And the site is nothing but cell. Hence, it is called as erythrocytes. And we will go for the lifespan. The lifespan of the RBC is 120 days. What happens to the RBC cells after 120 days? After 120 days, they will be destroyed in the spleen and the liver. So what is this destroy? That is RBC cells will be disintegrated or else will be broken down into the bipigments that is bilirubin and the bilirubin. Before that where do the RBCs origin from? Where they are produced in a body? RBCs are originated in bone marrow. In the red bone marrow. What is bone marrow? Bone marrow is an internal cavity present in the longest bones like femur, humerus, tibia, etc. Next, where do they destroy RBC cells? RBC cells are destroyed at a spleen. Where spleen is present in our body? This is the stomach and here you can find the structure called spleen and this is the liver. So destroying spleen and liver. The spleen is called as great yard of RBC. It's a place one the person go to the death place is nothing but graveyard. So RBCs majorly they are destroyed in spleen. So spleen is called as graveyard of RBC cells. And next we'll go with count. There is number of RBC cells present in the body. In infants. We will find 6 to 7 cubic per millimeter. In infants, we can find 6 to 7 cubic millimeter. 6 to 7 million per cubic millimeter. In adult male, We will find 5 million per cubic millimeter of the blood volume. And in adult female, 
we will find 4 to 5 million compared to male female have less number of RBCs 0.5 4, 4, 4. 4.5 million cubic per cubic millimeter and next we will go for the size the size of the RBC it measures 7.8 micro meter 7 to 8 micro meter that is in diameter and suppose this is a cell so we will find 7 to 8 micro meter and the thickness that is 2 micro meter in the thickness next we will go for the term that is, uh, we will study about the shape. What is the shape of the RBC cells? The shape of the RBC cells is biconcave in shape. Biconcave in the sense. Biconcave. Suppose this is a cell. You can see that the center part will be flat. And the periphery part, what you can see is the periphery part at the edges. So, this will be thickened. This is something but the biconcave shape. And do they have the nucleus? No, they are enucleated. What is meant by enucleated? The cell with the nucleus, we call it as nucleated. And the cell without the nucleus, we call it as enucleated. 